Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Cheap Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And today I spent some time indoors because it was windy again and we're running through um, a heat wave here. It's going to get hotter each day, uh, the weekend being the hottest of all. And uh, for the city uh, south of me, they're talking about 108. That means I'll probably see 110 to 112, somewhere in there. That's uh, usually, usually the way it goes, anyway. So, no, you're not looking at a slot car track here. And all you young kids don't know what a slot car is. But uh, you might ask Dad or your uncle or grandpa or somebody about that. And those were cool. A lot of fun. They had track pla uh, places around these buildings where you'd go in. And some of them had tracks that were a mile long. Really cool. And everybody would go out and buy their slot cars and buy the parts and build their own and things like that and take them in there and race them. Anyway, this is the start of the uh, water heating solar panel. And that's the first 100 feet roll of uh, tubing that I put in there, the irrigation tubing. And uh, yeah, I know the, uh, the little clamps, they kind of stand out. Well, I'd probably go, to, go through with a can of black spray paint after I've got this all in, and I'll just hit all of those with black spray paint so that it's all black inside. Then the glass cover is going to go over the top of this, and there against that uh, wall back there behind my saw and right up against the uh, sliding glass doors, I've got two of them there. Uh, one of them is going to be for this panel, and the other one is going to be to make a new um, solar distiller unit. And uh, so the solar distiller unit is almost the same as this, slightly different because it doesn't have just a, the same height uh, box around it. The box actually goes up on a slope. So it's, uh, the, the wood would be higher on that side than on this side. And the reason for that is the, uh, the sun heats up the water inside and the water rises and hits the glass and then runs down the glass into a catcher trough, which then it can run back out of there. And I like to double distill my water. And uh, that unit's got to have a opening cover on it. So you, you have to be able to open the cover and clean out the inside every now and then. Because you're basically going to put dirty, foggy, silty water into this thing. And the water that comes out of it is going to be crystal clear. But um, you still wouldn't want to drink it at that point. Um, distill it a second time. And then we talk about putting um, certain trace minerals back into the water. Uh, we'll do that later in another episode. But for this episode, this is the start of my uh, solar hot water panel. And what's this going to be for? Because I don't need hot water out here in the desert. Well, this is going to be to heat up the water in the barrels of my water wall inside of my garden house for the winter time. So this will be out in the sun. The sun will heat up this, uh, the water in this tubing and it, it's going to get pretty hot in here even though it's cold outside. The sun going through there into the, all this black and being sealed in with glass on the top. It'll probably be just like you getting into your uh, car after it's been parked outside of your your workplace for eight hours You get into that car at the end of a sunny day Even though it's cold outside. It's hot inside your car. So yeah, this would be um, Tenfold of that because you got a much smaller area. It's all black It's going to have one sheet of glass on top and it'll have a rubber seal between it to hold that heat in and it's going to heat up 300 feet of this plastic tubing. I gotta go get two more rolls. Um, I was gonna make a smaller panel with just 100 feet and I said why not let's go all the way out and go with 200 feet. So that's what, um, 300 feet I'm sorry. So that's where we're standing right now. Um, I talked about a little bit about the greenhouse just a second ago. I want to tell you something about the greenhouse. Well today I learned um, from Cliff one of my uh, steady followers and watchers here on my YouTube channel. 
that uh, he went online to see if, about the cost of a Harbor Freight greenhouse like the one I've got. And those things are up to $899, 900 bucks now. Holy smokes. Now, I got mine, um, the last uh, sale flyer or the sales book that came out from Harbor Freight said that the uh, um, they had an ad in there, not a coupon, just an ad saying that the greenhouse I got, the 10 by 12, its normal price was $649. Okay, so three pages later, there's a coupon in there. It says $100 off select um, greenhouses. And it showed the 10 by 12 and it showed the 8 by 10. Well, I said, that's a good deal. I think I'm going to go do that. So I called around before driving a... Uh, um, geez, it's close to 50 miles round trip for me to go to uh, Harbor Freight in any direction. So instead of uh, driving and finding out they didn't have one, I called around to all of the Harbor Freights in the area. Nobody had one. They were sold out. So I asked the manager at the one I usually go to, and he said, yeah, you can, you can prepay those so that your coupon doesn't expire because the coupon expired on July 5th which was a few days ago. Well, I didn't want to lose that $100, uh, $100 off of that, so I said, well, I'm going to go do that. So I went down and prepaid, and they said it would be two weeks. Well, they called me up in about uh, six days and said, it's in. So I went and picked it up, and uh, I got it for five forty nine. Well, now they're 900 bucks. Wow, was I in the right place at the right time? Just beautiful. All right, well, it's late in the afternoon. I'm going to cut this one off. Uh, I'm not going to go down to the greenhouse because didn't get anything done down there today. Just uh, windy, and still the wind is blowing right now. You can see my flag reflection in the, the window of the van there. It's just whipping away, and it's already shredded the ends of it again. So I buy those things by the boxes, and I got uh, a, a few still left on the shelf. And uh, when they get shredded, yes, I dispose of them properly in a wood fire. All right, that's all I have for today. I'm going to cut this one off. I'm going to thank you for stopping by and uh, joining me on this adventure. And stay with me. Don't forget, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Comments and questions at the bottom. I usually get back to everybody in, on time. And for those of you who are out there, um, that are subscribed or think you're still subscribed check your subscriptions when you get online to watch my videos because uh, I've noticed that a few of you are not popping in on my notifications that you left a comment and I don't find it until I go into my spam folder on uh, YouTube and I find some of you guys sitting back in the spam folder so I don't know what that's all about but uh I'm suspecting that uh, you guys somehow got unsubscribed. Anyway, this is G-Bear signing off.